Gentlemen, what's happening? My name is Nate. Welcome to Paragon Fragrances. This is week two of my weekly rotation series. I try to do um, a new weekly rotation every week, um, no matter how crazy the week might get. This week was a holiday weekend, and I hope everyone had a great holiday weekend. Let me know down in the comments what you did for the holiday weekend. I'd love to hear what happened on your weekend. Um, so on Monday, I started out with uh, Alexandria Fragrances Zion, Interpretation of Elysium by Raja Parfums. This is a great, great scent. It's very, just citrusy. It's a very compliment magnet. I really love this company, this brand, this clone house. It's just an, an, a stellar brand. I love the bottles. The bottles actually have some weight to it, um, which is fabulous. The atomizers are great. It's a great scent. It's a great scent. Um, Zion, um, very fresh, uplifting. It's very citrusy. It's musky. It's got all the characteristics of a really good cologne. It's almost like a Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, like that kind of blueness um, within here. It's very versatile. You can wear this pretty much anywhere, but loved uh, this on Monday. And on Tuesday, I started wearing my fall fragrances. It's kind of cooling down here, so I'm able to pull out some kind of denser fragrances. And, and this one was a Zara Most Wanted Parfum. Great scent. This is just a easy to wear. Um, it's got that bubblegum kind of sweetness up top. It gets like ambery sweet. So it, it, it has woods and it has like some sparkling ginger at the top just to make it pop. And it's it's a great scent. I love the bottle design. They did a great job with this, that amber color, but more ambery, it's more sweeter. It's, it's along those lines. So if you're not into sweetness, this is probably not good for you, but just a fabulous DNA. I really enjoy wearing this. Just an awesome, easy to wear fall fragrance. And I'm so excited about the fall time, like just rolling around and just, I'm able to wear denser fragrances, which I love. Um, my collection is, the majority of them are denser, deeper fragrances. But um, on Wednesday, I went with Gentleman Boise. I love this scent so much. The scent aroma on this thing is just phenomenal. It has that same kind of characteristics of the um, Eau de Parfum. I have not tried the original, so I don't know how close it is to that, but this one is just so much more woody, so much more just pleasant, easy to wear, very versatile, just a clean smell. It's just a clean smell and oh, I love it so much. The problem with this is it doesn't perform. It doesn't perform well at all. Um, and so I decided to try out my ISOE Super on it and actually it did really good. Um, I got um, 12 hours with this. Um, mind you, I did spray like 15 sprays. I sprayed like eight sprays on my clothes, um, my undershirt, and then I sprayed like three sprays on my neck here. Then I laid ISO E Super on top. I just did two sprays of this. I wasn't trying to like project off really long. I just wanted to see how long it would last if I did add ISO E Super. And it did a quite good job. Um, I was smelling myself into the 12 hour mark, which is, so I found a cure for Gentleman Boise and that's just layer it with some ISO E Super. You can also find Ambroxan, um, which you can lay on top of like more citrusy scents. And then Thursday, was a special day. I hit a thousand subscribers here on the channel and I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. Um, I'm loving just making fragrance related content. I can't believe I've done this for so long and not you know, shared it with somebody and shared it with you guys. I really love reading all you guys' comments and I try to be interactive as much as I can. Um, the scent of the day posts are my favorite because I get to hear what you guys are wearing. It opens my eyes to like different kind of colognes that I don't even know that are out there. So um, keep them coming, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to hear what scents you guys are wearing. But on Thursday, I was wearing Parfums de Marley uh, Pegasus and just, it's just creamy almond dough, versatile too. It's not offensive. You can wear this anywhere really. And it's just a great overall scent. If you guys are interested in this one, I know that there's a very good clone that our moth does and it's called Craze. Um, I've heard really good things about it. A lot of people compare it to this one and they say they get really close to this. So try that one out if you are interested in, I haven't tried Craze, so um, I don't 
have an opinion on it. So on Friday, I was editing some wedding pictures for my job and I, um, I could wear anything I really wanted because I was staying home. But later in the day, I went out to a business dinner. So um, I decided to go with Prada Luna Rosa Black. Uh, great, beautiful scent here. This is just one of my favorite Pradas ever. Um, I'm looking into getting into this line a little bit more. Um, I've heard a couple of you guys talk about how Ocean doesn't really perform all that well, but I might end up picking that one up uh, eventually here. Um, it's just some of those comments turn me off from it and uh, I have to just go try it out, you know, at Ulta, just spray it on my hand and see if I really want to justify that purchase. Prada Luna Rosa Black, great sophisticated scent. It's like a black tie. Whenever you spray this on, I say that if you're wearing like a t-shirt like I am, you automatically get a bow tie and a suit. It's just, you get so sophisticated. It's it's a great scent, guys. Uh, and I know this one is discontinued. It's a bummer. But it's still on Macy's and Ulta. So if you're interested in this one, it is still available. It's just you have to pay full retail for it. Once this is not at Macy's and all those other places, then I would be concerned. But don't be concerned right now. It's still available at all those major retailers. On Saturday, it was my first ever wearing of Mercedes-Benz Club Black. I love this scent so much. It is just so delectable. Um, the, just the vanilla in here is just so sweet and oh, so good, man. It's so good. I loved wearing this actually. I actually got a really good, just, performance out of it too. It's a very good projector. Man, I just, I really love it. There's a few comments that told me to buy this one. I released like a vanilla fragrance uh, a few weeks ago and a lot of people told me to buy it. I finally was able to buy it on FragranceNet. Since then they sold out, so it's not on there anymore. But this one is a very good, just vanilla, spicy scent. It's just oh, it's delightful, delightful. That's what I wore on Saturday and it was a great day on Saturday. It was like rainy too. Mercedes-Benz Club Black with the rain. It's just phenomenal. And then Sunday, today, um, I don't have a fragrance of the day, so I'm gonna go with Versace Eros Parfum. This one is just a great, I don't wanna spray the mic. It's just a great scent. It's like an ambery take on Eros. It's like, I look at it as like the more mature Eros. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.